for that. <laughs> we single, all of us is single. <laughs> Shut up. Everybody loves you because you're not competition. When you become competition, did people start? Wait, hold on, wait, wait. Pull up in a monster automobile gangster with a bad bitch that came from Sri Lanka. Be a minute, Hanga, Kalara, Willy Wonka. So, today's task um, I have to go to Dollar Tree, go to um, Walmart. Um, I need to get. I'm just so sick of this damn fucking. Uh, see about them. But yeah, I need to get me some storage bins because I have my hair stuff ah, okay I have my hair stuff all laid out crazy in the drawers and stuff and I need to be more organized and then I also need to get like little stuff like um pens and pencils and cleaning supplies from um Dollar Tree so yeah that's what I'm gonna do and then I need to go to Walmart because from Walmart I need well, I could have made that too Damn, I slow down right at the light. I don't know why my seatbelt thing do that, but um, at Walmart, I could have got, I need to get like food and stuff and like some lotion, body wash, little stuff like that. And then also after that, I was gonna go to Tuh House and get on the computers. She has computers there and I was gonna like do my homework and like read books and take notes because by me being in Atlanta, I'm not in a school environment. So yeah, it's motivating for like, it's motivating when it comes to like making money and networking and stuff like that. But it's not motivating if you're not on campus or near a library or anywhere when it comes to school. Like if I sit in my house, I'll be watching TV and I'm like, oh, let me check my homework. And this is my last year. So I don't have time to be on no lazy shit when it comes to my schoolwork. Like I don't, but I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get to that's my shit. Um, my niece just asked me what my diamonds real. I said, of course. No, y'all. So I just love Dollar Tree, and y'all, I spent thirty five dollars on stuff. If I would have went to Publix, or if I would have went to freaking Whole Food Markets, that would have been like two hundred dollars. Like I got me three cleaning supplies items. I got me. Four lotions, like they had cocoa butter, they had um this new I never seen this stuff in there. Like they had like good stuff in there, like cocoa butter lotion, not the oily one, but the good one. Then they had the dermatologist, the girls that get it, get it. I have the dermatologist and I bought that at Walmart, the big bottle. They had the skinny tall bottle, so definitely cop that. Then they had a dove lotion, and I bought that for my purse because I have a phobia. I don't know if anyone else have a phobia, but I have to have something on my hands like my hands get really dry even when they're not dry i'd be feeling like they're dry so like i keep vaseline cocoa butter and stuff in my car and when i go places i be wanting lotion and then my friends be i bought them lotion you know stuff for christmas for their hands and stuff and i be asking them for that stuff i said damn i should have bought myself some shit and then i got the girl they had feel of water did i say that right feel of water no i did not say that right i'm at moles right now and I'm about to get me a quesadilla uh, bowl. And then I'm going to go do my homework at the house. So, yeah. It's 8 o'clock. I'm really late because I need to be out of there by 10.30. I'm putting 10.30 max. So, yeah, I'm going to talk to y'all a little later. Wow, so she subscribed to me and everything. She was like, you're a YouTuber? I was like, yeah. Y'all, um, yeah, if I was gonna get robbed, like I move like an old lady. I get in the car slow. I open my door slow. Like if I really was gonna get robbed, which I'm not speaking that into existence, but your girl moves slow as heck. Like right now, I lock my door. Every time I get in the car, I just be moving slow. So I'm on my way to the house. And the most grill that I'm at is in this plaza. I never been over here. It's like I find new places every day. I didn't even know y'all. I go to the house every day and I never knew that she had a freaking 
Dollar Tree down the street. We have an anxiety since I hit that man car. Oh yeah, I didn't even update y'all with that situation. So, okay y'all, so I was just everywhere. But okay, back, let me tell y'all what happened. I didn't update y'all on the car wreck situation. So, um, the guy said he was gonna call me back Monday, or whatever. And he said he was gonna call me back. So I was waiting on a call Monday. I never got the call. Part of me was like, if it was that serious, you know, he would have, you know, did it on New Year's. But I'm like, maybe he wanted to have fun or whatever. But then he waited five days, so he called me on Tuesday. He called me, he was like, um, hello. I was like, hi, this is the guy car you hit. I'm like, hi, um, I'm so sorry about that again. I'm sorry that I ruined your, you know, your New Year. Send me your insurance. And I was like, well, you know, I don't want to pay it out through my insurance. Why? Because I just got this car. And the girls that get it know that whenever you get a new car and you're a young driver, they're trying to text the hell out of you. And, a lot, and I haven't ever been in a situation like this before. So right now, I'm on a good line. Like, my, I'm good. So I just didn't want to go through that. I didn't want my insurance to go up. And I didn't want... Um, I just didn't feel like hearing no, I didn't want to like pay extra for something, you know, when I could pay out of pocket because I got the money to pay out of pocket. So I was just like, you know, how much is it? If anything, it'd be a good thinking. Honestly, I was thinking like $500, $600. He's like, oh, um, we get on the phone. He was like, that's fine. You can pay out of pocket. Um, It's going to be $1,900 because you messed up the bumper. You messed up the tire frame. You, they have to take this off. They have to take this off. They have to take this off. And something told me to take pictures of this situation because me and Tell was like, people wait after the wreck to try to like, you know, add tax to stuff or like they asked for $1,900 and the, um, the, so the repair only cost $600 so they keep in pocket the next thing. Guy, y'all, he was in the bus down car. So like, you mean to tell me if I give you $1,900 shit, that's a whole down payment on a car like... I just felt like he was trying to play me and I got on the elevator so my um when I got on the elevator my service had died so he texted me and I had groceries and stuff in my hand because mind you he was supposed to call me Monday so I'm running errands today so he's like He's like, oh, you're really playing with me. It's okay. I got something for you. Um, you not answering the phone. You not, and my job been on elevator. So he was like, you playing with me. It's okay. I got something for you. Um, send me your insurance stuff. Da, da, da. I was like, first of all, I had to chew his ass. I said, first of all, ain't nobody playing with nothing. Honestly, if I wanted to play with you, I wouldn't even left. I, you weren't even in the car when I hit you. I could have easily pulled off. Like, wasn't no pressure on nothing. It definitely would have been hit and run. But if I was playing games, I wouldn't even left you my number, so I would have faked the letter to make it look like I put my contact information down, like quit playing with me. So if anything, you were supposed to call me Monday. You waited to Tuesday to call me. Five days, you didn't even call me on Sunday. New Year's was on Friday, going on third, Saturday. So you didn't call me, you didn't call me Friday. You, I mean, you didn't call me Saturday after, like after New Year's was over. You didn't call me Sunday. You didn't call me Monday. You waited to Tuesday to call me. And then on top of that, you mean to tell me the picture I took and the videos I took. This is what I'm sending to text. I'm sending you mean to tell me the videos and stuff I took is inaccurate. Cause you're talking about something. I messed up your whole bumper from the front to the back. No, I didn't, sir. No, I didn't. I will provide you with my information, which you don't even supposed to do that. You're supposed to get their information and they and you file it with your insurance. He think I'm dumb because I'm young. No, I'm very smart. So he was like, send me your stuff. Da, da, da. So I said, um, I will send you my stuff after. I was like, I will send you my stuff after you send me the video. Oh, no, y'all. He was trying to say, um... The videos and pictures I had wasn't right. It was messed up worse than what it was because it was too dark in the parking garage. Y'all, tough parking garage, I'm finna show y'all. It's nighttime now. Tough parking garage be well lit. Like, 
top of that, he was like, you could come um, look at it in the morning. Um, your pictures is not the pictures that it is. At this point, I said, I'm not gonna let nobody get over on me. That's what I'm not gonna do. And he got a stencil. I was like, you're not finna play with me. If I damaged the item, I would pay for it. But I, if I didn't do the extraness, send me the videos that you have on your phone so I could compare the scratches. He didn't even wanna do that. So I was just like, you know, and I was like, I sent him that message all together. It was like one long message. So yeah, he texted me back say less you you got it or some shit like that like i'm supposed to be scared or whatever but honestly all i was saying is i'm just trying i'm not trying to get my head beat in so send me the video you have you know and if it matches what you were talking about that's why i was sending you my stuff my insurance look how lit this is to a garage y'all look how lit it is look how well lit this parking garage is it has lights on every row like tell him quit playing with me I had to tell him stop playing with me for real. Hey girl, okay. So I did I did my homework. I did a discussion. I responded to two of my classmates. Um I didn't do one of the assignments that's due tomorrow. I mean that's due February 6th because I gotta download and do all this extra stuff. But I just got home and I'm unboxing Fiji. That's I said Fila, it's Fiji. So I'm unboxing my um not unboxing, I'm putting up my groceries and stuff that um that I got camera from the dad, but um when I finish doing this, I'ma go home. I'ma um finish doing some more work. I got a quiz to do. I got a quiz to do and then I also have to do some reading, but I got I, I ordered the book. I don't know where the book is, so I have to check on the book and see where it's at. But I do need to read, um no. Oh yeah, I did order the book. So um, I need to do some reading, basically, and take notes. So I'm gonna take out the trash and got me some stuff. I'll see y'all a little later or tomorrow. I might go to the club. Um, my friend just invited me to Lil Meech hosting. Y'all know what I said if you watched my last vlog. My last, last, last vlog. The girls that watch me know. I said, when I give them that look, when I get the opportunity to give them that look, when I give them the opportunity to give them that look. So this is my opportunity, y'all. So just remember, just remember. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. Oh my gosh, my camera's about to die. Um, I am on my way to the studio. Hold on, I'm running late. Shut up, y'all, I'm so sorry. What's up, guys? So my camera is about to die. Um, phone is about to die. Fuck shit. Come on now. Like, what the fuck? Take these fat ass glasses off. Like, y'all, y'all just don't be understanding. I be going through a lot of shit. Gonna hit the wall. Like, ah! I hate rushing. I be having too much going on. Like, I can't even turn the wheel right. <sighs> Let me get a breather. Hold on. Let me. Okay, guys. Bruh, my shit wasn't even tripping at first. Okay, y'all, so I finally got out of traffic and I finally got situated to the point where I can like talk to y'all now. But I'm on my way to pick up to my studio session is at four, it's 20 minutes. It's 40 minutes from Tug, 20 minutes from me. So hopefully I get there in time. Um, I'm gonna put it in my GPS and see like how close it is. Um, right now it is 3.30. That's supposed to be at Tug House already. They looking all over here. What y'all looking over here for? So, um, it's 3.30 right now. So hopefully I get there on time. I just felt like I was everywhere and I didn't tell y'all like what was going on and stuff like that. So the whole thing with me breaking down crime was also about when I deleted everything from my computer and it deleted the video at the computer lab before that, I deleted, when I said deleted all my songs I have been working on, so y'all, y'all, I didn't tell y'all I was dropping a mixtape, I was dropping like a full blown tape, like, I had songs and everything, like I had five to eight, ten songs, like, ready to go, like, just need to go in the studio, and I've been delaying it because, you know, I started my business, and I had, like, and I started school, so I have to really prioritize, like, what comes first, and, and music is something I love doing, but it's not paying the bills, you know what I'm saying, so, I said, I'm gonna wait till I just finish my, I hate going into the studio like I am right now, unprepared. I 
have two hours to, you know, write and I want to be prepared going into the studio. Like, I want to have songs I could just knock out, you know? Instead of, like, trying to come up with the songs there. So, all my songs deleted. The songs I stayed up to 3, 4 o'clock in the morning writing. The songs that when I went through, like, sad, lonely, like, the songs that I really felt like were, were great all are gone yo Gotti just posted um i don't know if you guys follow him but i don't follow him and i still know um he posted a challenge um it's like an open verse challenger or whatever like that to like artists to like hop on the track that he has and he's so i've been seeing people do challenges and all this stuff and freestyles and it's been out for two three days now and he hasn't picked the winner and i don't know when he's picking the winner but i don't want to wait too long so i i did the song the first night he dropped it like literally it was 30 minutes and he was, was like, um, y'all had 30 minutes. He was like, uh, 30 minutes ago type shit. And I had did the song that quick. But I just went back over the past two days and tweaked it. So now I'm on my way to the studio. And I'm about to record the song. So you guys are probably not going to see this until two weeks from now. But I'll let you know. Fingers crossed. And even if I don't win anything, it's still the fact that I tried. And it's still the fact that you don't know who, who will see you. Like... You don't know who else will be watching. Yeah, I am. I never let my niggas down. Nah, I never put them choppers down. Hit your bitch when I come in town. She ain't never let a nigga down. Hit your nigga, I'm not for the drama. Yes, I get my nut and then I kick them out. One guy with a feeling of plumber. Got some little niggas who will drain them out. Call them dumbers. Jay says I got the thumbs. It's later that night. You see me in club clothes. Oh, I'm at the house. I've been doing this little freestyle shit all day. I'm so glad it's over. It's like, for real. Because I'm exporting now on the computer. And I'm about to upload it to YouTube. So people can watch it on YouTube. I already posted it on Instagram. I was nervous. <laughs> nervous. You know, there's some people that's not going to like it. And there's people that's going to like it. So, they just can't do stuff for other people. That's my biggest thing when it comes to rapping. I'd be like scared what other people gonna say, but yeah, fuck. fuck them. A lot of people you don't start off liking people until like they grow on you. So Chanel or YSL? Simple YSL. Okay. Simple classy. Clean cut classy. All black. All black. So I'm finishing editing up and um I'm right now, I'm just uh, gonna put on some perfume and some lotion and stuff until I'm finished. And yeah. it's the fake pages for me. It's like everyone hating in the comments is from fake pages. Like, tomato, tomato, tomato. Like, user, is this page called username 207? Top of some rapping, it's not for everybody. And then somebody else, I'm not available. A fake page said, huh, you should have said money calling, stay picking up. Bitch, I did say money calling. I stay picking up, bitch. What, what did you not hear it right? Like, I said that. She's talking about some get your bars right. Why y'all so offended? And first of all, I did say that. That's another reason why I rapping is just like, ugh. Because people just be saying anything. Like, they are so mean. But I don't care. I'm not going to delete it. Oh, me would have deleted it. What do you mean by master? What do you mean by master? Master what? 
master my volume, my voice. Oh, that's what they mean. What's, what you mean? There's someone coming. Uh, what they say? You master your sound, you're going to be fired. Master my sound, meaning oh. like once I found my voice, like they could tell like I'm still trying to find like how I want to sound with my raps. Uh -huh. Yeah. what's up guys it is sunday the end of the week and i've been talking to y'all since friday i haven't talked to y'all since friday i know you guys are probably like this vlog is just everywhere i'm so sorry that you feel like the vlog is everywhere i hope i can edit it and make it just come together but so much has happened since the last time i talked to you so y'all know when me and Toe went out um i slept outside in my car yes i slept in the car i slept car because after the club that we parked at my friend when we got to the club it was like 1 30 and my friend was like yeah we my friend was like yeah we park here all the time this is something we do so i'm like okay that's fine so i was like that's cool so we didn't have to pay the people at the club so when we park or whatever they were like hey you know put in your credit card my friend didn't have a credit card i didn't know he didn't have a credit card and um he was like you got a credit card and i happened to left my i left my credit card and stuff in the car and only brought my id because i'm a girl i don't pay for nothing in a club so i didn't think my wallet is big my wallet is like a little bit longer than my phone so i was just like i'm not gonna bring my wallet in here and that's doing too much and it's my purse so i found my id but okay so then after you know we partying y'all we get drunk we lit if you follow me on my ig you know we was lit like it was lit so we some hot side was gonna see Meech. So Meech wasn't even at the club that we was at, y'all. So it's his hosting is not into sorry. his hosting is not into February the um his hosting is not into February the 14th or something like that. My friend got the dates mixed up. So I'm like, damn, my man not even here so i'm really upset or whatever but then we knew some people or whatever and they were just like oh it's a private party at allure and y'all keep that in mind so we're supposed to go to allure or babylon allure is a strip club babylon is at the spot so we go back to the car like drunk laughing we all we lit so then y'all get back to the car the dudes who dropped us off because we didn't walk back down the hill they're like bro you got two fat ass boots on your car i'm like it's it's four in the morning y'all i'm like ain't no fucking way boy ain't no fucking way y'all after we get on the fucking after i get out the car i'm just like i want to sit here and um i want to sit here and get this boot off y'all can go out i'm gonna just stay in my car my friends was like no we're not leaving you so y'all i'm caught so we wait a good hour i call the people there like we're on the way we'll be there in 10 minutes 20 minutes we'll be there in an hour no they didn't say 10 minutes they said we'll be in an hour so we wait like 40 minutes or whatever and my friends like y'all let's just handle this when we come back we still lit you know let's still go out and it looked like they ain't gonna come anyways so i'm like cool you know at first i was like nah nah let's just wait so i waited again 15 minutes so now it's been an hour so then we're going on almost 4 30 5 o'clock in the morning so we go to a lure we pull up it's people in there or whatever like that it's like the owners the the big spenders the older africans some strippers in there my drunkness don't wore all the way off and now i'm at a club so it's like five in the morning like 5 30 y'all so now i'm like um they like the dudes that we with they like let's go to another spot let's go to another spot i'm like fuck no take me back to my car because you know they call you when they they supposed to call you when they come in to um i gotta go to the bathroom then i'm ready okay um, they like they supposed to call you. Yeah, I'm trying to tell y'all the story time because this is where my life, what I've been doing. So then I was like, no, take me back to the car. He was like, let's go to another spot. Let's go to another spot. I'm like, no, take me back to my shit. So they take me back to my car, y'all. I called him again. First of all, we was at a lord. I called them 30 minutes before we left, 
just to check to see if they came. They didn't come. Then I called them and was like, hey, can you send, can you send someone? Y'all didn't send it the first time. So this was while we was at Allure, y'all. So when we leave fucking Allure, it's been like an hour now. We Uber, so it's like an hour. We get back to my car. Nobody has came. It's six in the morning now. So. Right, so where did I leave off with my story time? We're in the car. We're on our way to this breakfast spot called Barney's. Um, we're having brunch. It's a little late for brunch, but it's never too late for brunch. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is what Taya has on. See, it was her birthday this past week. And we all getting together because she went on a luxury vacation. And where? Costa Rica. Costa Rica. She was sleeping next to volcanoes and stuff. She didn't even call and show me the room, though. Like, who doesn't call their friend if they sign in? It's the house. Room? Whatever. <laughs> the house. You have fun? Yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, then also, oh yeah, so back to the story time. So we get, okay, so I'm there for an hour. They still didn't come, y'all. So I called them again, like, I called them again. They're like, right now it's like 6.30. No, it's like 6 going on 7 in the morning. When I get there, they staring out there. So I called them. I'm like, hey, I've been calling you guys. Could you send someone? Could you send someone? But mind y'all had paid at three o'clock this morning like the first time i had called them i paid online with my credit card so i'm like why is they not coming like i'm just ir ir irritated like i picked up my friends so i was responsible for getting them home and i had two friends in the car who needed to get dropped off i didn't think i was gonna be there all night y'all so we waiting on the people for a good hour it's seven o'clock in the morning y'all now it's like 7 30. So everybody, we just go to sleep because if they pull up, you know, they're going to knock on the window. They're supposed to call me. They're supposed to call me. So I'm like, I will wake up. Like, I'm asleep, but I'm not asleep. Everybody else snoring. Like, they're snoring in the car. Tuss snoring. Um, Tommy is knocked out in the backseat snoring. And I'm just like on and off waking up just trying to make sure I didn't miss them or anything like that. So I, we wake up. It's 830, y'all. So I slept for a good hour. Mind y'all, we've been out all night. I slept for a good hour. I called them as soon as I wake up because I look outside my window. The boot still, the boot is still on my car. Both of the boots still on my car. So I called them again. They're like, "Oh, we're we're sending someone. It's gonna be an hour." Y'all, it's already eight. Then y'all took we girls, we friends. I started my cycle at the club. So now, you know, when we sit in the car, so now I'm mad. I'm mad because, like, nothing's open. I can't go anywhere to go, you know. So I'm just, like, irritated. Y'all know, like, how that, how that is. And then I was cramping really bad. So then I called him again. I work because, like, when we first got in the car at 7 in the morning, the whole row of the parking garage had boots. So they was like, you get a boot. You get a boot. They was giving everybody boots, y'all. Like, everybody had boots. So I was like, okay, that's good. At least when, you know, I could know it's other people in my situation. So, yeah, I wake up from that now. And around 9.30, we get out the car to go into the lease office. Because the lease office open. Now I got to go to the bathroom, get myself together. I have to go to the bathroom really bad. Y'all, I get out the car. Why the whole road boots gone? The cars is gone. So, I mean, they came while we were sleeping. But they didn't even come to my car. They didn't even knock on the window. They didn't even call me. Nothing. No missed calls. Nothing. So now I'm livid. So then I go in there. And the lady is like, oh, it's another lady here. She has a boot on her car too. She called them. They said they're on their way. They'll be here. So we, I'm pissed. I'm mad as hell because I've been here all fucking day. Like, I'm crying. Like, I broke down crying. Because, like, I done started my cycle. So now I'm just extra emotional. And then it's like... What the fuck? Like, I should have just paid for park there. That, y'all. I go back in a car, and the lady in the front desk, like, did you stay by your car? Was you in your car? When they, you supposed to stay by your car. That's only how they take the boot off. I said, bitch, we were sleeping in the car. What are you talking about? You're in here right now. My friend Tuss sitting in the car, so what are you getting at? She's trying to make it seem like, because we were in Lisa's office bothering her that we missed the people. No, bitch. My friend is sitting in the car since you think you know it all. They didn't come to one o'clock the next fucking day. I could have went home. I could have Ubered home. I could have took a shower. I could have slept good and then came and dealt with it the next day. 
I could have went to Allure. Y'all, and then I didn't even tell y'all, guess who was that motherfucking Allure? My man Meech was at Allure, and we could, and it was a private party that we got invite the information for, but I couldn't even go because my car had a boot on there, and I was trying to deal with the boot. Next time, deal with the boot in the morning, y'all. Don't If you ever get a boot at nighttime, leaving the club, go home and come back in the morning. It's not worth it. We sat, we slept in a, we slept in a car all night, y'all. What's up, guys? We're at the next stop. I'm sorry, y'all. This was us. I'm gonna have to cut it off. <laughs> We're sitting outside of this other place called what? Like intro song. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, bitch? <laughs> it's called what? That was our intro song. Ten Lizzie's. Ten and we're here to get drinks. You know, we had went to the brunch place, but you know, at brunch, you're supposed to have fun, be lit, like drunk and stuff. Not drunk, but a little tipsy. We ain't even gonna get tipsy because they ain't had nothing. And a guy who was on here that y'all just saw, he was like, oh yeah, we got this. Come down, we a vibe. Y'all, they sold out of everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> they machine didn't even work like they didn't even have frozen drinks they didn't even have none of the drinks everything had to have champagne and then on top of that they make you get a large champagne bottle for forty dollars when we go to the jumpsuits is cute in the club for a certain occasion so you don't so Todd doesn't believe in wearing regular casual clothes with a little heel Bitch, you can't just throw she want me to look like a hoe every time I go out. No, it's like a bad bitch every time. <laughs> she want me to look like a every bad bitch. Every time people see it, it's a bad bitch. It's nothing, nothing less. Okay. I love the come to. I be wanting to wear track suits and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a pot. No. Strawberry is stingy. Right. I look good. This camera is so clear. Okay. Pass it back. I don't know why you're taking that long. You know you're in the Yeah, we finna get us a man. You see how she be? We don't know when. You see how she be? <laughs> We're gonna get us a meal. No, not here. Just soon. I feel it in our pores. <laughs> I, I feel it in. No, we are, we single, baby. Who well, let's got a man? All three of us. No. Yes, we is. Who got a man? You. Who? You! Who got a We single. They cut that part out. <laughs> We single, all of us is single. Shut up. All of us is single. Cause they be watching your shit. Oh yeah, they do be talking. <laughs> and I don't like that. If I can't vent to my person, I'm not gonna post this. If I can't vent to my person in journal, like how I feel, like sometimes I be like really sad and I be talking to them and I don't post the video cause I'm like, I don't know who the fuck gonna see this shit. Cause I be wanna, I be having like depressed, depressed moments. <laughs> By your life. Are you trying to get down? You trying to run your mouth? Are you trying to get down? You trying to run your mouth? Are you on TikTok? No, that's the real. Mm -hmm. She wanna be on TikTok so bad. What's up guys? So yes, I changed my outfit because we went to another lounge. So we went to the first lounge was this which was where we go the first time to eat breakfast. It's a place in Midtown. It's across the street from uh, Flying Biscuit. So if you know, you know. And then we went to Teasy Leezy's. What it's called? What's the second place we went to? Tan Lizzie's in Midtown. Then we went to Copper Cole. Now me and to Kaya. This was for Kaya's birthday. We just wanted to get her out the house, you know, and do stuff fun. So Kaya KO'd like she cannot, she did not want to go out no more. So me and Kate, I meant, <laughs> me and to is going to go to a strip club later on. But before I go to the strip club, I'm going to get some business handled, like check some emails. Because that's not until later on, like an hour or two from now. 
and upload this rap video. Um, I recorded a challenge for the Yo Gotti thing, as I told y'all later earlier this week, but the audio was terrible. I spent my money, like, people don't understand being a rapper is just so, like, stressful because not only do people try to rip you off, but sometimes these people that y'all be peeing don't know what they're doing. So I went to the studio, and I'm thinking, you know, the sound is going to be good or whatever like that, and... It wasn't. It was like muffled. And I kept saying, my voice sound weird. I was like, do you have auto-tune on my voice? Like, it sounded like he just placed my voice in there. So when I posted it on YouTube, like, I had good reviews. I had people who didn't like the rap, which I'm not tripping off that because everyone's not going to like you, you know? Sometimes people bandwagon. A lot of people bandwagon. People hop on when you lit. When you get a record deal, that's when everybody be like, oh, yeah, I've been listening to you. And the whole time they was saying you suck, you trash. So it just depends. So I don't let that stuff get to me. But when people say stuff like construct constructive criticism, like you sound good, but your delivery doesn't sound good or your audio doesn't sound good. I take stuff like that to the heart because like that's constructive criticism. And I'm like big on that. So... A lot of people was like, you sound good. It's just your, whoever did your recording just fucked you up. And that's like, I'm paying my hard earned cash for that. So I was kind of upset about it and like, fuck the challenge. But then I was like, nah, I'm going to keep, I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to upload it tonight. And I'm going to schedule it to post tomorrow because he posts Friday. He chooses his winner this week. So I hope I'm not too late. But, but I want to close out this vlog because I know for facts that I'm not going to vlog tonight at the strip club. And I'm not going to, um talk to you guys until probably like later on this week because i have two videos to edit so i'm not not going to talk to you guys so i make sure i get these videos out what do you have to say that is cute you better turn the fuck up this bitch loves to turn the fuck up yeah. one thing about her she gonna turn the fuck up okay so i'm gonna talk to y'all later and i hope and i'm not driving tonight y'all because i ain't getting no boo okay so we over it we over it we over it the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't don't, don't. if you thought you was gonna watch this vlog without me saying that you're then you thought that wrong and you're not that girl Cause I say it in every vlog without trying to. It's just natural. You thought I wasn't gonna say it, but I did. Shout out. Everybody loves you because you're not competition. When you become competition, then people start. Wait, hold on, wait, wait. Pull up in a monster automobile gangster with a bad bitch that came from Sri Lanka. Yeah, I'm in a tanga, color a Willy Wonka.